welcome to a new feature on the Eggborn YouTube channel, Ask the Archivist. This is a chance to answer some of the questions I've received either as archivist or administrator of Alan Eggborn's official website. And if you have any questions about the playwright or his plays, you can email me at inquiries at alanaitborn.net and I'll endeavour to answer them. And who knows, they might even end up on Ask the Archivist. So we'll kick off with the question, who was Roland Allen? Now, for those not familiar with the name, Roland Allen is the name the first four of Alan Aitborn's plays are credited to. So it's a pseudonym Allen used early in his playwriting career, but which he dropped from 1962 to write under his own name. So why did Allen initially write under this pseudonym? Well, to answer that, we have to go back to the beginnings of Alan's theatrical career in 1956. He initially set out to be an actor, and there's no indication Alan had any intention of becoming a writer or a director. His focus was on acting, and he was doing very well with it. But in 1958, he challenged the director of the Library Theatre, Stephen Joseph, about the quality of his roles. Stephen famously responded by challenging Alan to write a better role for himself, which resulted in his first play, The Square Cat. This was produced in the summer of 1959 and featured Alan in the lead role, and this is one of two reasons why he used the pseudonym. Despite writing his first play, Alan was still convinced he was going to be an actor and wanted to draw a distinction between the roles. As Alan Aitborn, he was known as an actor, so it made sense that he wrote under a different name. But why specifically Roland Allen? And this comes to a little known fact that Allen essentially co-wrote his first play with his then fiancée, soon to be first wife, Christine Rowland. Paul Allen, in his biography, Grinning at the Edge, notes that the square cat was largely the product of her knowledge of stagecraft and his nascent gift for plotting and dialogue. Alan and Christine wrote the play prior to their wedding in May, as newspaper reports noted at the time, so the pseudonym also acknowledged there were two hands involved in the play's creation, Christine Rowland and Alan Aitborn, hence Rowland Allen. Having written his first play, Alan was immediately commissioned for a second and, despite Christine no longer being involved in the creation of the plays, Alan wrote Love After All, Dad's Tale and Standing Room Only under the pseudonym of Roland Allen. In 1962, Alan left the Library Theatre to become a founding member of the Victoria Theatre in Stoke-on-Trent and decided at this point, as writing and directing were coming, becoming as, if not more prominent in his career than acting, to use his own name for his plays. Rather confusingly, the following year he revived Standing Room Only and it was credited to Alan Aitborn rather than Roland Allen, so this is considered both the final Roland Allen play and the first Alan Aitborn play. And that's the story of Roland Allen and why Allen used a pseudonym. Don't forget, if you have questions about Allen and his plays, email me at inquiries at alanaitborn.net and if you've enjoyed this or any other video on the Aitborn channel, please subscribe.